All right, I'm sitting in the back here, honey, and trying to imagine a, a stall back here is, without a lot of carpentry <laughs> renovations, it's pretty hard to do. First of all, we have to keep them away from the doors and the hose I don't really want to move. And of course, as you um, notice the panel. So also we'd have to put plywood up on all the, for a kick wall on these walls over here. So the big deal is that this um, shelf unit overhangs, hard to see from here, but um, this door is probably three feet further than the edge of the shelf unit. So <laughs> there's no way to have the stall come in this direction toward me for the one side and just too much work to get it um, to work. So I think it's pretty simple, uh, at least for a, something I have to slap together by this weekend. She would like to come sooner. I'm going to have to do it out in the other room. And that would be where Kip was because the stallion's going to have to be separated the whole time he's here. And Kip doesn't like to be inside, so he'll only be inside when the weather's really bad. But I think what I'd like to do is put either one or two panels. I'm not sure because i got to cover up the electrical unit next to the door and so that would offset the using the corner over there unless I figure out some way to hide that box that's right behind the sheetrock. So I've got to clear everything out over here, get all the nails out of the wall, and the it would be nice for him to be able to look out that window, however. So uh, I might just, that's the only issue is that electrical. Um, and it's too far over, away from the door. That's right, I mean, the, I don't know, what, that's probably 10 feet out from the wall, the corner. And that's as far out as I can go. I'll probably make it a little bit, I'll make it 12 feet long and 10 feet wide, maybe only because I don't want to try to fill a two-foot area in. So that's it. That's what we're facing. Okay, bye.